Hi everyone, this is Bryce with eLearning Brothers. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to insert an interaction from the Interaction Builder through eLearning Brothers into Lectora 12.1. So let's start out with a blank slate. And what we'll need to do is we go up to the Tools tab and select Inspire Tools and into the Interaction Builder. Another easy way to do it is just by selecting this blue tab here, this Inspire Tools, and selecting Interaction Builder, the tab down here. So, um, so once you open this up, it will ask you to log in if you haven't logged in already, but I have Bryce Marshall. And so, um, so it it's logs, logs me in automatically every time I come in, so that's a nice thing. Uh, so as you can see, all I need to do is come into here and I, I can select from the interaction editor. I can select games, quizzes, tabs, timelines, stairs, uh, oh, a bunch of different types of um, interactions that I can choose from here. So if I wanted to just choose the games, I select games, okay, and um, and let's let's do the uh, millionaire game. So uh, let's click create now. All right, a couple other options I can choose from here before I get started is uh, I can select the theme that I want this game to go off of. So uh, these themes again will show uh, the backgrounds, different types of backgrounds and different types of button styles. So I can choose from any one of these um, these styles. So I'll choose, um, let's choose this cool winter one, okay. So now you can see in this preview, a uh, quick preview, there's a blue background and uh, the, the, these buttons will be used as well. Okay. So, uh, so that's one setting as well as in here, I can also use a countdown timer or not, randomize answers, uh, randomize questions, and also um, game and button sounds. I can turn those on or off. We'll keep these uh, default settings as they are. So let's see, once I go to input content, uh, very easily modified by the introduction text. Uh, as you see here, as you can see, I can change any part of the text as well as uh, the font type, the size, bold italics, the color even, uh, and the, the positioning. So uh, feel free to, to play around with that. I could also have a link inside here, a hyperlink that I can add in. Just highlight and uh, insert uh, your website or your, your link right there. So, um, so a couple different options you can choose from, as well as um, let's let's go ahead and, and edit this so we can see the uh, new intro text. So we can see that it actually does change. Uh, so then, once we get the introduction taken care of, we'll want to insert our text questions, our question texts. So here, let's just put in a new text. Oops, text for. <laughs> for question one. Okay, so I have that. Again, I can change the, the font type, size, things like that. Um, then I have the ability to put in a, a text for a remediation for my correct answer. Okay, uh, incorrect answer, feedbacks, and, and uh, all the other uh, incorrect answers. So, um, so here's the correct answer text. So maybe I put in um, this is the correct answer. So that's what will display on the button, right? Okay. This is button text uh, one incorrect. We'll just copy that. Copy. You know what I've had before as well is you need to make sure to uh, have the same format as it's originally set up as. So again, um, oops, three. So again, there was a space here. Make sure that all of them have a space at the beginning. So if there's something that's set at the beginning, make sure that it's uh, it's that same format, especially on the buttons, because it will uh, it will make it look a little funny if it's not uh, doesn't have that space. Okay, so then um, 
then you can uh, change the remediation. So uh, remediation for one, two, and three. Okay. So uh, so once you get that all figured out, and you can uh, change it to be a multiple choice, multiple answer, or even a true or false uh, question type. Okay. Uh, so when you figure out how many questions you want and insert all those, uh, you have the ability to go up to 15 questions on this particular game. However, you don't have to use all of those. You can turn them off. You can turn on, turn them on, uh, and then anything you want to do with those. Keep these for later. So maybe you want to put in a uh, question and um, but just not have it go live for now and so it's just in there and uh, you can either turn it off or on at the, for, for when you do that okay so when you get to the conclusion here's the conclusion text uh, if you uh, so let, nobody's really a loser let's let's be honest so um, so rather than loser if you have not passed it this is the text that you would put in uh, and then uh, the hint questions. So for each question, you can have a certain hint. Just like if you were playing, you know, regular millionaire um, in your, uh, uh, you know, who wants to be a millionaire, you have hints for each one of the questions, and you can edit that text there. Okay, continue button. If you noticed, this is actually a white. Uh, the text is white. Uh, so that will just display better on those certain buttons. You can change it to whatever text color you want. So same thing goes with all these other buttons, button labels. Okay, so so really that's it. All I have to do is, then is either save or publish. Let's save it first. Uh, so my new um, million, how do you spell millionaire? A-I-R-E, <laughs> game. Okay. I save it, then uh, publish it, and when I publish it, now now that I'm in this Inspire Tools inside of Lectora uh, 12.1 uh, or greater, uh, when those come out, um, all I, I have options to either uh, upload as an HTML5 object or a Flash object. So just depending on what your needs are, you can go with those. I'll just do the Flash object for now. Uh, would you like to save this interaction? Uh, yes. Make sure it's saved. Now it's downloading. And voila, it's in there. So then, now if I were to view this page here. Oh, you know what? I don't have the right plugins. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, uh, so then um, I hit continue. See my new intro text is there. I could have changed any of those. My new question text, button one, two. Uh, maybe I do incorrect on one. See, now I have special remediation for question or, or feedback uh, one, uh, if I selected the incorrect one. So all right, so then, okay, so then I have to use a hint. I use a hint, it gives me a hint. And now I can choose the correct answer. And it moves up. So that's simple. Uh, I hope this helped you out with knowing how to insert an interaction from the Interaction Builder into Lectora 12.1. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.